at those cuts. Oh, Look at that. That shoe drop. This is not Bam. fair. Oh my Bam. gosh. You gotta, like, hit the ankle, J. Cutler style. Oh. Yeah, shoot my ass. <laughs> Still, he's like 20 Oh man, how am I gonna grow my quads? Yeah. I know. All right. So we got some good quad exercises coming up. Um, first thing we're gonna do is sissy. Oh no. You're good. First thing we're gonna do is sissy squats. All right. So Blake is pretty new to sissy squats. So we're gonna kind of demonstrate this first um, with him. We're gonna start with body weight and he's gonna try to go to the ground. So you're gonna lean back at the hips, push his knees forward, come up on his toes and try and control it down. He loses control that last little bit, which can be kind of uncomfortable, um, slamming your knees into the ground like that. And then he has to kind of bend at the hips on the way up. Just that very bottom position is hard for him. So for him, we're gonna start him to a target. So something soft, so if he smacks his knees, it doesn't hurt. Just a six inch target off the ground. He has much better control, can come on up, and he would do that for reps until he gets a pretty solid quad pump going. Gotta take long. Um, version two is being able to go all the way to the ground. So sometimes I can do this, sometimes I can't. Come up on the toes, push forward. Oh, I lost it. And I lost it super bad. So just controlling it down, controlling it up. And then if you want to, you can actually load this. So holding some dumbbells behind you, or you can hold a plate up on your chest. <laughs> so can't quite do it. And then the last version of this, you can load it or increase the range of motion. I'm gonna fail this one for sure. But you can elevate yourself a little bit higher. I'm trying, and I can't quite control that. But you, don't, you want to not plop into the ground, basically. So be able to control it all the way down, all the way up. It's a really solid quad pump. Uh, a guy named Tom Platts used to, used to do this, a bodybuilder in the 80s, and he was known as a Quadzilla, actually. So, that's right, so for everybody who's watched that video, automatically, they see the knees go way far forward over the toes, and they're probably thinking, Psh, my knee is going to explode. So can you, can you tell people blow their minds. On the yeah, so um, the knees not going past your toe things, toes thing is kind of a myth back from like, I think it was like the 50s, right? Like some doctor came out of a study and uh, for whatever reason that myth just persisted. We have copious evidence to the contrary that like it's fine for your knees to go past your toes. Um, you get more quad strength the deeper into knee flexion you go, which with a squat means your knees are gonna come forward. The more upright you are with your torso, the more you're gonna depend on your quads. So it's generally good for your knees what we're looking for is this uh, tissue load versus tissue capacity. So the load going through your tissues, not exceeding the capacity of your tissues to adapt to it and not exceeding the strength in them at that current time. And so if you do, if you decide, hey, I'm gonna do sissy squats for the first time and you do a hundred of them and you do them to elevated with weight, might have some knee pain, might develop some patellar tendinopathy, that kind of thing. But if you do it slow, um, a slow progression up to uh, like starting easy and then progressing over time, just like any other lift in the world, anything else you would ever do in the gym, then your, your knees will adapt to that and they'll become stronger over time.